Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing very well today. Here is the Project Jeep, and this, but this is not the one we're gonna be working on today. The one we're gonna be working on is outside. You saw in the last video, it's the donor tub for this hunk of junk right here. So stay tuned, we'll be right back and we'll get to spraying that thing off and clean it up and see what we're working with. Buddy, so as you've seen in the last video, let me get over here. We brought this guy home right in front of us. Now, in the previous previous video, you'll see we brought home the 1977 yellow Jeep CJ5 that I brought home. That is a total pile, but it has all the parts there. The engine's there, transmission's there, axles there, everything is there. The engine's not locked up. I think we're good to go to try to get that thing running. But as you can see, the body is completely toast. Enter this guy right in front of me. This is a donor tub. It's not perfect. There's some uh, things here and there that aren't very good. And we'll, we'll work through that. But it's a lot better shape than what I started with and what's in the barn right now currently. So what I bought with that yellow Jeep is the title and all the drivetrain. Knowing that the tub's going to need a lot of work uh more or less just completely scrapped and start over so again last video you saw us go up there and pick this up from my buddy seth red eye garage again link is down in the description down below to his channel shout out to him for uh hooking us up with this donor donor jeep cj5 now again she's a little rough around the edges and he's took he uh he took the parts off he needs for a project he's currently working on but i want to go over this with you real quick and just show you uh what it looks like so as you can see inside there, there's not a lot going on under the hood of this CJ5, but um, the tub, hood, and grill all seem in decent shape. The fenders, this one's not too bad, but the other one on the other side has been patched right in this area and has some rot. And the tub, again, is not the best of shape but it's definitely a lot better than what i'm starting with so i'm not sure if i'm going to cut in and put in a, a whole side panel here or just get some sheet metal cut out the bad stuff and just try my hand at some uh, patching and some body work regardless the floors actually don't look too bad and i know underneath there's going to be some patching underneath there but we got to get all this junk cleaned out of here and the floor is a whole lot more solid than what i currently have with the yellow 77. looks like there was a cat or some type of uh visitor walking around inside the jeep but let's just look at this thing real quick look at this thing somebody really cared about this at one point in time we had some cool stickers on the dash again the steering column is one thing that seth took put some of uh, the wheels from the uh, yellow jeep over here on this just to roll it around i gotta try to work it into the barn just like this into the, the shop to try to work on it but again it's it's um mostly there and i think the supports are pretty good underneath let's just take a peek underneath there they don't look too terrible for what they are and quite honestly this frame depending we're going to look at the two frames uh these jeeps are basically the same year so it's not going to matter uh as much but the frames this one actually is a little more solid than the yellow one right back in this area look at this we got zip cord zip cord right here i gotta show you something under the hood real quick hold on so it's actually pretty cool this donor jeep is a 258 just like the yellow one i have inside there and the, the 77 i have and it's yellow just like that so this i don't know if this was yellow front clip and they painted it all purple and then like the rest was red i don't i don't know but what i want to show you underneath here is you can see everything's gutted out of this thing it's just more or less a roller but not even that because the front axle is missing um but the uh does anybody out there know what this is? All my electrician buddies, look at that. Leave a comment down below if you know what this guy is right here. Um, I guess they were using this as like a junction block for their grounds. I'm not really sure, but there's a tan twister right here that jumps off the one cable. <laughs> Some of the stuff you find, this is this is a first for me. I've never seen anything like that. But anyway, so we're uh, we're gonna probably take two Jeeps, more or less two bad Jeeps and make one good one. So. That's the gist of this thing. It actually still has the badges on there. And all in all, I mean, it's, I mean, I'm sure there's some mud here and there, but it's, it's a, it looks like there's some mud right in here, maybe. 
but it doesn't need to be perfect. I just kind of want a, uh, a runner. We'll get the engine running and put this in there. And uh, Rusty, Rusty Jones, Rusty, Rusty Jones, Rusty Jones. <laughs> but we're going to try some sheet metal work on this old girl and uh, try to get her back to uh, her former glory. Again, we might get a whole skin for the side. I don't know. We might just cut out some stuff and patch in what we need to patch in. And uh, until we start to actually get pressure washed and kind of grind some of this stuff off of here, it might make more sense to get a whole, you know, whole side and just graft it in. Uh, I never really did body work before, so this is going to be a first for me, but I can tack weld and I can get by with uh, some booger welds and a grinder, so we're going to try our hand at that. But in this video, let's get to it. Let's go ahead and just clean all this junk out of here, pressure wash it off, and uh, see what she looks like underneath all the gunk. All right, let's see if there's anything worthwhile in here. Get some gloves on and... We'll get to sorting through this junk. All right, let's get this guy out of here. Put down there for transport. Oh boy, all sorts of good stuff here. Should just lay it on fire and burn it out of here. Mmm, mmm, good stuff. Interested to see how uh, solid these floors are. I know there's some patches, but we'll see. Just what it's like. There's a bolt. It's a piece of duct tape. Probably structural to the vehicle. Oh, got a breaker, a clutch pad. Still pretty good shape. Rubber, soft, keep that. Solid, right there at least. Okay, vacuuming time. Got it all cleaned out and vacuumed out. You can see there's some patches here. And I uh, should put this forward with one hand. There we go. There, it's a little soft under there. I'm not too, super worried about that. Floor in the back is still very solid. And solid-ish in through here. And I'll come around the other side. And again, a patch right here. And there was a patch riveted under, underneath, it looks like, or this whole thing. But all in all, it's actually a pretty solid Jeep. We're going to just rock it. <laughs> to be completely honest with you, we'll check the hat channels and the, the braces, the floor braces and everything uh, before we get too crazy. But I am pretty sure that is strut. Yes, that is, that is unistrut that they built the rear seat bracket on. <laughs> That's, that is, uh redneck engineering at its finest so let's get the pressure washer fired up over there and get some video cleaning this thing up okay so we can pop these guys out okay there's one two three and we don't have one over here so we'll have to just uh try to get it out while we can all right one. There we go. Get her all descaled and pull the particles off of it.
that is all the junk that came out of the floorboards of the Jeep. A uh, wheelbarrow, almost a wheelbarrow full. So let's go here and see how we did cleaning this thing out. Again, you can see there's been some patches on the floor. Like there's one over there, one here, one in that area. But all in all, I'm, I'm leaving this go for right now because you see, this is giving me green energy credits because this here is its own ecosystem. It's nice and fuzzy and green. If I leave that, I'll get extra credit for being environmentally friendly. Uh, saving this thing here and then keeping this here, that just that just really helps me uh, stay on the up and up with the, uh, the green people. So anyway, with that being said, uh, we got pretty solid floors. I'd say we're about 80% there. Again, I'm not sure what I wanna do with the sides. The front fenders um, are gonna go. Uh, my yellow Jeep, I'll show you here in a second, has good front fenders, but the tub is completely shot. This here, I don't know exactly what happened here. I'd love to know the story of that, but I really think we're gonna go to Kaiser Willys and just get a whole new skin for the side and be done with it and do each side and go from there. But we're nice and clean. And this is the stuff I'm gonna save. Oh, we ought to put this on here, right here. I should have washed it first, you know? Look at that, beautiful. I already got a brake pad <laughs> for the pedal. So again, we got mostly solid floors and I think we're gonna just uh, run with it. Honest to goodness, we'll check the bracing underneath and go from there. But we're gonna decide now if we wanna keep this frame or if we wanna use the frame on the yellow Jeep. So we're gonna make basically two nasty Jeeps into one decent, decently good Jeep. See, there's some Bondo there and some uh, good old, uh, look at that. Goodness, riveted on there, they love their rivets. It's kinda ugly back through there, so. So there she is all cleaned up. Let's walk inside and I'll show you my yellow 77. So here is why, as you saw in the beginning of the video, why we're doing what we're doing. This is the Jeep I picked up a few videos back and it is rotten. I mean, it is in really, really, really bad shape. From, from here back, more or less. But the good thing with this is it has the drivetrain. It has a T150, Dana 20. It has the 258 straight six. Let me open this up for you and show you what I'm talking about. It is all completely there. And if you saw in the video, we went to pick this up. I went and turned the fan and the crank down below. The crank pulley is not locked up. So the engine, in all, in all fingers crossed, in all intents and purposes, it should fire up. But it hasn't fired for a while. There's some gunk down in the carburetor. I gotta get down in there and actually uh, clean that out. Pull that pry off the base, suck that out of the intake manifold and see if we got any stuck valves or anything like that. And then we'll fire this up. But that'll be in another video. Uh, just bear with me, this is gonna be a slow going process. But the cool thing about this Jeep, it's got a title and it's in my name now and it has all the drivetrain. So again, it's 258 straight six, even has antifreeze in here and has decent oil. T153 speed, Dana 20, manual steering, manual brakes. We're gonna change that to power steering, power brakes, I do believe, just to just make this more fun to drive. And it would be fun to put like a four speed or something maybe behind this too, just so we have that extra gear, uh, or even maybe a T5, I don't know what we're gonna do. But I got a tune-up kit for it. It's got spark plugs, uh, points, condenser, all that good stuff, or I should say coil, new rotor, all that good jazz. So. Tune in for a later video and we'll get this thing up and running. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, share, tag, and follow here. And you can find me on Instagram, 65CJ5 as well. So thank you so much for watching and following along on our 77CJ5 back here. And sooner or later, whether it be weeks, months, or years, I don't know, we're gonna get her uh, up and running and breathe some life back into the old iron. So thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next video.